Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and today on the Hungry Hussy Cooking Show, I got a special treat. I took it to the community, took it to the members actually, and said, guys, pick something that you want me to cook for this week's show. Bobby Catton, Catton, I never asked her, her how to pronounce her last name, but great, great supporter of the channel. Been around since day one. Uh, with the members so thank you Bobby for that first of all but she had a great recommendation the dish is yakisoba it's a Japanese noodle dish basically like a it's kind of like a lo mein something like that right uh, it's got chicken and uh, vegetables got all the kinds of good stuff going on with it but uh, she recommended that that was her suggestion there were a lot of others out there that honestly whew, boy some of them I was really worried if I pick I put it I put all the names in the generator and pick the first one Bobby's came out first I'm kind of glad it did at first I didn't know what the heck it was I started researching it and I was like phew I want to say thanks to the members for recommending so without further ado hey let's get to the ingredients of our yakisoba and then we're gonna get to cooking by the way we're gonna do this on the blackstone griddle y'all in case you didn't know you heard all right, so our yakisoba, let's get it. The sauce consists of soy sauce, wash your sister sauce, ketchup, oyster sauce, a little bit of sugar, and then I also got, this is just a little bit of, uh, this is like chicken powder and water, essentially it's chicken stock, okay? Got our chicken, this is, uh, oh, how much did I put in here? I think it's three, three or four breasts that I've cut up, small little strips. Uh, just do it however you want. These are the noodles. So I did some research, and it says that it's not the type, but it has to be, um, let's see, where's the dang ingredients? Oh, right here it is. It has to be a wheat flour noodle. So I thought these right here will be the trick. The vegetables. Got some carrots. This is cabbage. Got scallions, red pepper, I got one small yellow onion, and I got some bean sprouts. Fresh, fresh bean sprouts. Love, love, love bean sprouts. And that's it, y'all. It's basically a stir fry with a sauce. How you like me now? All right, let's get to it, y'all. All right, let's make the sauce up. Pretty easy. I'm gonna start out with, uh, I'm gonna make double uh, of this, so everything is gonna be like double the amount because I'm making a good amount of noodles, all right? So I got four teaspoons of sugar. I'm gonna do four tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two, three, four. Again, I like, I like my thing saucy, all right? I'm talking about saucy. The two tablespoons of oyster sauce. One, two, remember I'm doubling it, three, four. Yummy oyster sauce. Now, ketchup. One, two, three, four. Wash your sister sauce. Shake it up. I'll do eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's get all these goody goods out of here. Don't want to leave them in there. All right. Now, just going to kind of give this a whiz. What I found kind of interesting about this, and I did quite a quite a good amount. Of, I did a good amount of research, and there's no garlic, there's no ginger. Uh, kind of interesting, especially that it used Worcestershire sauce too in a Japanese dish. I thought whatever. That's nice and thick. Let's give this a try. That's pretty good. It's very rich. The Worcestershire sauce gives it a richness. The oyster sauce gives it a really nice richness as well. Uh, 
oyster sauce kind of like a barbecue sauce we feel like a japanese chinese oyster sauce but yeah well that's good it is uh, a little on the salty side so you do got a lot of vegetables here that you got to contend with for the salt but you just want to be careful okay now we'll put this right here and we're going to let's season up our chicken just a little bit of salt a little pepper and that's it we're not gonna i'm just gonna put this on the grill we might have to put a little bit more salt and pepper no big deal all right we're gonna let the black stone come up to temp another minute or two and we're gonna come back all right all right y'all let's get busy let's get busy i got a little bit of a little avocado oil right here you see those wisps of smoke about 425 450 uh, maybe on the low end of that on that 425 so what we're going to do is we're going to take our we'll take our vegetables our onions our peppers our cabbage everybody get in there everybody all right except for i'm going to wait for my scallions i'm going to wait just a little while on those and i want to wait for my bean sprouts because they're a little more tender a little delicate like me that looks beautiful So about these noodles, I also want to let you guys know the noodles. You can also use like Marchan noodles. It's kind of like the, the ramen noodle packages. They also, uh, you know, use these kinds of noodles. But uh, I saw these, looked at the ingredients and, sh and saw that it, it was wheat, right? So that's kind of what you got to use for uh, this dish. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I just seasoned this one side of chicken. When I flop this over, I'm going to season the other side. And that's all, folks. I'm going to let that go. I want to get a nice color on that one side before I start flipping and doing all this other stuff, all right? Let's check our vegetables. Vegetables are looking good. I'm going to go ahead and add the bottoms to our scallions i got these others for these are the tops on this side it's going to put it on that little on that top make it rain baby make it rain bean sprouts little bean sprouts love bean sprouts love them i want to give a shout out a little shout out to my buddy mike mccourt awesome blackstone life shirt blackstone life is a facebook group on facebook obviously uh, it's nicely ran by Mike and a few others, I believe. Uh, it's a great place. There's no negativity. A lot of people hate Facebook groups because of the negativity. Uh, people are mean to each other. Mike don't take no crap. And you're there to learn. You're going to learn. You're not going to get treated differently, poorly, whatever. He will kick them out. So give my old buddy Mike McCourt, Blackstone Life, a holler over on Facebook. Tell him how he sent you. All right. Let's flip our chicken. That's nice. That's real nice. Put a little bit more oil down. I want to take our noodles. I want to get them. Come here. I want to get them noodles. I want to get them on the top. I want to get a little char on them, all right? I'm going to take a little bit of this chicken stock. I'll pour on these vegetables. Pour on this right here. Oh man, you hear that? Look at those noodles. Beautiful, beautiful. Tell you what we're gonna do. It's about time to take all this and let's just put it together. All one happy family. Just one big happy family. 
All right, I got it all incorporated. I'm just gonna cook these for a little bit longer, just get a little bit more of that color, a little bit more of that char on it. And then we're gonna hit it with our sauce and then we're gonna be about done, y'all. I'm gonna let this go for another, I mean, literally like a minute. I'm gonna turn it over, kind of do the same thing for another minute. Good to go. All right, let's give this a turn. Woo! Oh boy. Y'all. Boy, look at that. Boy, that is some goodness right there. All right, guys, we're gonna let this go for a minute, and then we're gonna put our sauce on it. Hey, guys, just one thing while we let this go, we only got like 30 seconds. We gotta flip this, put the sauce on. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you like it. Uh, bring on the bell notifications to get all the notifications from old Hungry Hussy. And then if you wanna be a participant of, say like, uh, the members chose this cook, there's a join button down below. For mobile users, there's a link to join. Um, there's sneak peeks. There's, I do a, a monthly giveaway to folks, just random things, could be a shirt. I've given away some Thermalworks items, just all kinds of things. I interact with those folks probably a lot more than, than everybody else. So consider joining if you don't. If not, no big deal. You're still getting this content just like this right here. I think these are done. Chicken's done. I'm just gonna cut the black stone. I'm gonna cut it off. I've had it on low. Uh, so I wouldn't overcook and make a mess. Now, we're going to get our sauce. And we're going to pour it over our noodles. We're going to come right here. There. Look at there. Man, the smell. Yeah, baby. Woo wee, boy, look at that. Look at that pile of those noodles. We're gonna make it all pretty. Never know when you got company coming over and they're gonna critique you for your yakasabi presentation. What's done? I'm gonna take a little bit of this sauce. Because I like it saucy. I'm going to pour it over there just like that. All right. Now, take our scallions. She's a beaut. Boy, that's pretty. All right, y'all. It's that time. Time to give this dish a try. Boy, it looks good. All right, I think we got about everything in here. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that richness of that sauce is amazing. It's just a lot, of, you know, there's ketchup, oyster sauce. So, so rich, luscious. The cabbage, nice little crunch. It's not, it's not just wilted. Uh, it's got a good crunch to it. I got a red pepper. Love that sweetness of that red pepper and the chicken. The chicken is great too. All right, y'all, there you have it. Uh, I appreciate everyone that participated into the community post for the members who recommended something to, something to fix, something to shoot for this video. I uh, appreciate the help. Again, I was having a brain, brain fart. I really didn't know what to cook. I got some ideas, but you know, they just didn't sound good to me. So I thought, let's let the members decide again. If you're interested, the join button's down below. Uh, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would sure appreciate it. Well, y'all, that's all I got today. I appreciate everybody. I love everybody. Until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye, y'all.